Hey, so we are here at Advanced Aircraft with the Cessna 206 and we're gonna get our tip tanks installed. Let's clean that little lens. So what we got going on is also an AD for the fuel lines that need to be done. So we're gonna take off the cowling. We got some float wires that are gonna be for the existing floats, but then they have a power supply for additional sensing floats that we're gonna get installed. This is the kit of everything. It's all the goodies inside the box. Float parts, all the things, screws, inspection plates, covers, instructions, and then we've got the two tip tanks that are going on. We gotta figure out colors and styles and design for all that. But I'm gonna go and get started on unscrewing some stuff and getting this set. So we've got tips off. That's the inside of the existing wing tip right there. So that just pops off, screws top and bottom. And we have this little flash guard plate so you don't get blinded by your strobes. And we'll be keeping that most likely. Um, got to figure out if we want to paint it so that it's a little slightly different color. And now it's time to go on to the next side. So I didn't need to take off this acrylic cover because we're putting on all new lights and everything else on the outside. So that didn't need to happen. So we got all the inspection panels open. Light is open. Caps are off. Now Anthony is wrestling with seats and figuring out all the fun connections that love to stay connected when you're trying to actually get the seat out of the aircraft. There he goes. Careful not to throw out his back. <laughs> it's out. <laughs> oh shit. <laughs> and that's what it's looking like. We gotta tear off panels to get access to all the power that's gonna come into the dash and down the line from the wing roots. Through there. Somewhere. Who knows? I'm just following instructions. So what I've currently got going on is taking out Side panels, taking all that out. So I've got to remove the side panels so we can access where wires are gonna come down and sensors, etc. So slowly going through, taking all that apart. There's my pile of little screws, enjoying the hot, hot day that it is inside this cabin. So Anthony's drilling out panels so that this cap can come off. So he's got to zip out. Oh 
So we got the interior panels out and then Anthony drilled off the end cap that was covering this area. And so now you have these little rails. So these are the spars and then we're going to attach strengthening panels, aluminum strengthening panels, rivet them on to here. And I believe over here, one of these two spots. And then that helps stiffen up and strengthen this end cap. And you'll see the ribs in there, the round holes. And we got to run wire up to the cockpit. So that's the next step after doing some lunch. Oh, they need an inset in. You gotta go all the way through. Gotcha. Stiffing up the thing to bend like that. But you don't want it flush to the spar end? No, they want a point two five to point seven something. In inboard. Yeah, against the edge. I don't know what to talk about. Excuse me, good. <laughs> like which edge? <laughs> I know. It's like a fun house of mirrors in there. Look, you just added so much more wing wing area. Yeah. The diameter's too small in that one? Nah, they seem to click those, they're gonna get worn out. There's like a spring inside there. Then, with the plate, we're just gonna do the same thing with, with the click goes in it, so you just hold it in place, so you can drill it. And then you just leave that there until you're ready to rivet it? Yeah, I'll just rivet it and all at once. Yeah, so I, I would probably stick it back in because I don't know if I can get to it. Yeah, I'll definitely do it as one, because this can go all back on as one unit, right? Yeah, that'd be easier, but I have to kind of wiggle it out of it like now. And then supposedly we're supposed to not use the existing holes. No. Right? We have to create an inch There's off. A, I don't, I haven't read that part though, but... I think it said like move an inch plus or minus away from where the existing holes are. Yeah. See how they sit. Yeah. Just to make sure that everything's lining up. Yeah. Right. Looks like that one's got it. Yeah. Right. Pull out.
So we just got these plates installed. I had to do some grinding on them because I wanted to make sure that there's gonna be no stress. Anthony was talking about that if it's too tall and pressing up on the skin, they can cause stress cracks here when all the stuff gets riveted together and pulls it together. You can see how like bringing it down, they're now touching. So I may still need to shave off a bit more once he puts this end cap on with the cleaves and we can find out. Um, this one's not as bad, I don't think. Like once the stiffness is in there, I just wanna be able to see that that's not gonna put a lot of strain up in that, that joint in that fashion. So I'll show you what, he's currently taking a photo of another 206 that has tip tanks on it to find out where the portholes were installed in that one. And right now you can see the cleaves that he's got in here, pushing on that so that once they're fully set, we still have some of that play that rivet so they're not creating stress points so that's why i have that little bit of a gap up there. before it was just super tight almost too tight where it was expanding these skins and then these are the rivet clamps he's got set for there so that that will hold on to that plate as we get ready to rivet Woohoo! so that's just a reamer it's like deburring it Deburr. to make it nice and smooth, put it nice and sharp. You can tell the difference. You can catch your finger with it. Yep. Like just yeah. enough just to get the edge off, not too much. Yeah, it does are shearing away tons of material. Yeah, this will. It looks like it. I think it looks pretty. <laughs> I use it for countersinking. Sure. You can countersink the, the rivet. So what we're doing right now is we're just following on that template to find out, find out where we're gonna drill for our rivets. So that is currently our setup. So we're gonna do that. Looks like we have a little bit thinner on the top than on the bottom, but that's how that cookie crumbles. So let's just check again. So once I have that installed, yeah, it's because there's a gap, which there is. Okay. Now it's time to go measure and punch. That's what you want to call it, fun. Awkward angle fun, <laughs> So now only 19 more times or 18 more times? Or is that 20 on that one? Way too many.
What? 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 What?